This is Katherine Nightingale of Chattanooga State Community College, and this video is for Linear Algebra Web Work Section 1.7, Problem 3. We are given vectors v, u, and w, and asked to find for which value of k the vectors are linearly independent. Let's start by reviewing the definition of linear independence. By definition, vectors u, v, and w are linearly independent if and only if the homogeneous system x1u plus x2v plus x3w equals 0 has only the trivial solution. This would mean that if I made an augmented matrix for this system, then there should be a pivot for each x. meaning three pivots in this case, since there are three x variables. The vectors were given 1, 2, negative 5, 1, negative 1, 15 plus k, and negative 2, negative 1, 4 are going to be put into an augmented matrix. So I put my v as the first column, and I can actually put these vectors in my matrix in any order. So next I'm going to put the w as my column 2, and the u as my column 3, and augment with 0. Now I want to row reduce to try to find where my pivots are. So I want to get rid of that 2 in the first column by doing negative 2 row 1 plus row 2 equals the new row 2. Pause the video and do the calculation, and then I'll reveal the next matrix. Okay, so you've done the calculation, and you get the matrix with second row being 0, 3, negative 3, 0. Now I want to get rid of the negative 5 in column 1, row 3. So I do 5 row 1 plus row 3 equals the new row 3. Again, you can pause and do the calculation. Now that you've done the calculation, you get the new matrix with row 3 being 0, negative 6, 20 plus k, and 0. The last one that I want to zero out is that negative 6. So I will do 2 row 2 plus row 3 equals the new row 3, and I get the new matrix with row 3 being 0, 0, 14 plus k, and 0. Now recall that this system, or these three vectors, will be linearly independent if there's a pivot in each x column. So, I, I'm going to focus on the x3 column, and I know that 14 plus k will be a pivot only if it's non-zero. So this will be a pivot if it's non-zero, which tells me that the vectors are linearly independent if and only if k is not equal to negative 14. So that's the answer that the problem is looking for. Now I want to show you one alternate method for doing this problem, and that would be to assume that they're dependent and find what k would have to be to make them dependent, and then to be independent you would do the opposite. So the alternate method is to recognize that if one vector can be written as a linear combination of the others, then they're dependent, which is the opposite of what we want. Now given our vectors, what I'm going to do is try to find weights so that a weight times v plus a weight times w equals u. So if I do negative 1 times v plus negative 1 times w, then that's going to equal the vector 1, negative 1, 1. 
Notice the top two entries are identical to u. And then if I make 15 plus k equal to 1, then k is equal to negative 14. This tells me that the vectors are dependent if k is equal to negative 14. So to make them independent, I let k not be equal to negative 14. So the vectors are independent if and only if k is not equal to negative 14. Now this is the same answer as it should be to the first method that we used. And either one is a valid way of figuring out what k would have to be in order to make the vectors independent.